The following video may not be suitable for children 13 and under. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel, Edu Tabi here, and today we're gonna finally, finally look at the last Dinobot, the best Dinobot swoop. Got this in the mail today from Amazon, and it seems like it's been a long road, whatever that old song is that was Star Trek had on it. It's been a long road, you know. It's been a long road to finally get here to finish in the Dinobot, so no stupid combinations and com combining or whatever actual Dinobot. So this is my favorite Dinobot swoop, so it makes sense to finish it out with the best one. I know everybody loves Grimlock, but this has always been my favorite. But uh, came today, gonna take a look at it. Uh, I think transformation is pretty simple. Uh, he looks looks pretty good in the box here, uh, and we're gonna finally finish them out. So before we get started with this, if you're watching this and you enjoy Transformers, Star Wars, G.I. Joe, Motu, Velvers, indie stuff, 3D printing, I don't know, whatever else. Please think about subscribing to the channel. Like, share this video. Think about becoming a member. All right, so artwork here on the front. We got the open cutout thing. I don't, you know, I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like, uh, you know, it's coming from Amazon. It's probably okay, but in the store, not really a fan of it. But artwork here, we got swoop right there on the side. Flip it around, 21 steps to transform him into dino mode. Uh, okay. Battle Autobot City is the background. That's more steps than I would have thought, but uh, I don't think it's going to be too hard. And then this is number 26, Leader Class Studio Series. So, very cool. I also picked up, I uh, got the Bumblebee today, too. So, we're going to take a look at Bumblebee in the coming days. So, excited to take a look at that. Everybody says good things about that one. So, that is uh, Transformers the movie. So, that's it for the batching. Let's open it up. Take a look at the figure. All right, let's take a look at what it comes with. You get this background in the box. Uh, I don't know who uses these things, but uh, I do like the artwork. I wish they would, uh, I don't know, do something different. I don't, I don't know, it just seems like a waste. Maybe people use them, I don't know. Instructions here in the red and black. We'll go over to transformation, all that good stuff. So let's look at the accessories. Interesting uh, take here on a couple things. So. You get the two rocket launchers, uh, details fine, got black plastic. Why is the bottom so waffly? I don't, I don't understand it. Um, I mean, I guess from the top view, it's okay. You can plug the missiles in here on the top. It's red plastic painted gold like that. And they've got a peg on the end of them. So you should be able to do a blast effect. Now, I don't have one handy, but it's got that kind of standard peg there, so probably will work. You get those two, and then you get two swords, and you can actually give one of these swords to one of your other Dinobots if you want. You get a long sword here, red plastic with a peg, shorter sword here, and they've just got uh, handles like this so for plugging them in. And then, let's bring in the figure. There he is. Swoop, uh, he looks pretty cool. He's always kind of been a weird uh, weird character in, in robot mode to me. I've always found him much better in dino mode, but you know, okay. Uh, first of all, that's unsightly. That I mean, come on. I get it flips around or whatever, but that is crazy, right? So you know that somebody like DNA is going to do a gap filler somehow on that. Uh, gold here, silver, that looks good. The black plastic, red, the blue of really light. The face looks fantastic here. Uh, you can, you know, then the gold on the bird and the bird's mouth opens up. And then you got detail in there and you got a pig for effect. So you can do that. So I, I'm sure DNA is doing the kit because they've done effects for most of the other Dinobots. So you'll see that coming, I'm sure. Uh, wings look pretty good. A lot of detail. You can plug the missile launchers in on the wings. Uh, 
like that, and like this. Yeah. Depending on how you want to go with them. I don't know. Which way do you prefer? This is an interesting question. Uh, do you like the Dinobots in robot mode or dino mode? I always put mine in dino mode. So here's the back of them. You know, not too bad. Not a whole lot of hollowness going on here. Some little spots right there. I don't, I don't mind that. I don't think that's really that big a deal. Um, so articulation wise, his head's on a ball joint. He can look up. He can look down to a degree, but not much really. Uh, side to side. He's got this really big wonking head. Uh, the wings articulate backwards. Arm will go up. It's on a joint in there. Bicep rotation. Elbow. Uh, do the, the hands do rotate, but they're tight. Okay. Uh, you got uh, kind of like a butterfly, really. It kind of goes out here. I guess that's part of transformation. You got waist rotation. Uh, you can move the thing up and do it all the way around. And then flip it back. Leg up to there, leg back, move the wing, get it back a little bit more, and then out to the side. Thigh cut on that joint. Felt like I hear a very slight ratchet. Uh, way, way more than 90 on the knee. Rockers. And then you got a heel spur, and you can kind of do a toe, toe down there. So really everything you want with this guy. I mean, I, you know... Depends on what you're interested in, but uh, I mean, other than the arm, I think he looks pretty good. And then, like I said, you can just plug your sword in like that, and there's your Dinobot. So big, big, big guy too. I mean, he is full size. Uh, you know, I have all the other ones in Dino mode, so we're not going to do that kind of comparison. But uh, yeah, those arms just really look bad. You know, that is really just a big negative for me. Kind of angle them so you can't see them. I guess it's all right. Uh, this guy is a little loose in the legs, uh, joint wise. Uh, you got that joint. It'll go down a little bit further. You get the feet like that so you can make it look a little bit better. But there he is. So pretty good looking. All right, let's go through the transformation and take a look at the Dinobot mode. All right, so transformation on this guy is actually fairly simple. Uh, even though 21 steps just doesn't feel like that. So you want to fold the hands in like this, like that. Bring the hands down, arms down to the side. And then the wings here have two tabs, two slots on each arm. You just kind of rotate that around to match up on each side. Like that. Straighten that one up so you can see it. Uh, and then next, you want to take this piece here, fold up. You know how the head's going to go into there. Uh, there's this piece here as well. You can go ahead and just pull it back. Bring these two pieces off to the side so you can move it back and move the head around to like that. So these two center pieces, there's a tab and a hole there. And you see how they're on the hinge. So they're actually going to hinge down. And you can bring these two together like that and put them together uh, like that. So go ahead and fold the head into here. You're going to actually tab that into there like that. So you can, it's two different ways. So you can, two different ways you can just swoop. You can fold this piece in uh, really and, and do it like that. So you can move the head or you can actually... Um, Bring the piece out and adjust the head down it's like when he's standing up. But I, I like him in flying mode. And a while ago, this piece was so tight I couldn't even get it. Now it's popping out. But I like him in flying mode so you can keep it like that. Um, and then really, I mean, easily, you take the heel spurs, fold up here and here. Flip it around. Fold these up into there and there. Fold the wings out. And they're on like a double hinge, so just straighten them out like that, like that. You'll get it. Uh, and then you just fold the feet over. There's a hole there. They go into this. Just basically bring them over and tab into that. You can get it to go on the first 
thing you're doing well because I couldn't seem to do it for whatever reason, especially when I'm looking behind camera, but you get the point. Uh, just do the same thing on the other one. We'll try to clean this up here. But uh, let me let me clean. Uh, yeah, this needs a whole lot of cleaning up here. Uh, hard to do this stuff when you're looking through, looking, trying to look over the top of the camera. I got that one in, and that one in, and then trying to get all this stuff to tab in. All right, so like that. Uh, and then what you want to do is take the wings here and fold that piece out like that and like that. And there you go. Now, if you want to do swoop the other way, you could take the feet here and fold it there and then do the head and angle. You know, you got to move this hinge joint up like that. You can do that if you want to. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'll do that because that actually fits better on my shelf. Uh, so that may be a choice there, uh, but you can you can play around that how you want to. So uh, if you want to keep in fly mode, you don't have to do that. You can leave it there. Like I said, these are on the double hinge. You can angle these up however you want to. If you want to do them that sweeping bird motion. And then the wings, you're going to take your rocket launchers and then plug under the wings like that. Plug under the wing. Come on. Like that. Straighten them out. Make it look all neat. I like to have his mouth kind of open. Kind of angled up. If you want them straight, you can leave them tabbed in there. But, you know, most time you want the bird wings kind of sloped at an angle. Kind of. I don't know. Personal preference. Whatever you want to do. But that centerpiece keeps coming up so there you go you can do that that's an option clean up how you want to and then you can take the, the swords if you want to do this i don't you know just just really for storage for me just to get it out of the way like that and then flip it around you can tab it on the other side so like that so yeah overall i think it looks really good it's missing one one, see that, that center section just does not want to stay tabbed very well. You see it? I don't know why it's, it doesn't want to tab very well on mine, but uh, there we go. Maybe it forced it. Um, but what I will say is missing one key component. It needs a stand of some sort. Uh, you've got different holes and pegs here. It needs a stand. Really, I mean, it's the one flying Dinobot. Some kind of cheap little clear plastic stand you can set them on. And uh, be good to go. I mean, other than like uh, the inside of the hands where it's exposed, I think overall it looks pretty good. I mean, they did a pretty good job making them look like a leader size class Dinobot. If anybody ever had Power of the Primes Dinobots, they were way too small, dude. I mean, they weren't terrible for the time, but they were just very undersized. This is this is the way to go. This is looks the best, but. Uh, just needs to stand. Other than that, it's a great figure. And if you got the rest of the Dinobots, you got to be picking this up. Let me know in the comments. Are you looking forward to this guy? What's your favorite Dinobot? And uh, are you excited now that they finished? Should they look forward to doing some more different things? I think they ought to do Abominus, like in leader in leader size or something like that. Something different, you know. Uh, fix some of those combiner issues. I mean, they did a good job at Motor Master. Uh, now I think it's time to do some more. But there we go. The best Dinobot swoop. Thanks for watching the channel. I do appreciate it. Think about subscribing to the channel and stay tuned for more content. We'll see you down the road.